Heather, we ready? All right, it's 10 o'clock. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and call to order the meeting of the License Variance Board. Today is Wednesday, October 27th, 2021. We've got several items on the agenda today, so we're going to get right to it. First item on the agenda is a public hearing variance request V21-069 to allow, or I'm sorry, to reduce the side setback from 10 to 5 feet for lot 415 863 Church Street, Nathan Corbett is the applicant. Mr. Stobbs, if you would, the background, I understand there's three variances with this subject property. Yes, sir. Good morning. Joey Stobbs, Planner 2 with Community Development. This is a variance request at 863 Church Street to reduce the side setback on eastern property line from 10 feet to 5 feet, to reduce the rear setback from 30 feet to 15 feet, and allow encroachment into the 50-foot and 75-foot um, stream buffers. The applicant is proposing to build a 2,800 square foot, two-story single family home. Um, they'll have a bridge that crosses over the creek at the front of the lot. The subject property is greatly impacted by the state's 25 foot uh, stream buffer, city's 50 foot undisturbed buffer, and 75 foot impervious setback that runs along the, from the south of the property through it diagonally. They have requested a rear and side setback reduction to push the house back as far away from the stream as possible. And they will require relief from the city's buffers in order to construct the house. However, they will provide buffer mitigation um, and a, a bioretention pond to mitigate any impact on the stream. Community development has recommended approval with four conditions that uh, Approval is conditioned upon substantial compliance with the site plan and elevation submitted. So they have to build it as they have shown it. <clears throat> the applicant will provide stormwater management plan subject to approval by the city engineer. Three, prior to framing, they will provide a flood elevation certificate. And then four, uh, prior to CO, they will uh, provide an as-built cut fill analysis of the property reviewed by the city engineer. Thank you, Joey. So is this a, is there a house on the lot already? Or is it? Th there's no house on the property, okay. it's undeveloped. Is this R20 or R15 or which one is this? Oh, I'm trying to remember. It was R15. Okay. Okay. Any questions for staff at this time? No questions. Is the applicant present or the representative? Sure. If you would please Warm. state your name for the Mr. Chairman, Chairman, Adam Rosen with Rosen and Rosen here for Mr. Corbett this morning. Good morning. Um, thanks for having us today. Uh, we have Mark Lee with us this morning, who's our engineer uh, and has been around and doing this work a long time, uh, a lot longer than me, and knows the hydrology and, and the plan. Um, if you have any questions about that, we've spent uh, majority of our time in the past couple of months getting that in in the right position so that we know that we can uh, commit to the conditions that are a part of this recommendation of approval um, and of course anything that you may want to hear from Mr. Corbett as well as far as the home that he's proposing uh, which you have an, a rendering of uh, an elevation of in the staff packet as well um, I think this is undeveloped at this point and probably largely because of the stream that does cut through it as you see on your first figure um, you've got someone that's been willing to take that on and, and to do the mitigation uh, that the city has recommended uh, we've met with the city staff a number of times they've been gracious enough to do that with us um, to get us to this point and um, with with the history of the property and something that staff noted um, hardship not being created by the applicant as the lot was created prior to the ordinance. So we, we think it's a, an appropriate request um, and would be a good addition to the neighborhood. And if you have any questions for us, we'd be happy to answer them. Thank you. I think that, um, you know, just pushing the property back, I mean, I completely agree given the, given the complications with the lot, pushing it back and can, you know, contemplating a side or and or rear setback to get as far out of the buffer as you can. You know, it's definitely the way to go. You know, and even with the hundred year floodplain, I only see Joey, there's 
was that four cubic yards of fill just that barely that corner that, right yeah okay any questions for the applicant uh, I was wondering if they want to talk a little bit about the the pond and the bridge the the design for yeah. those Sure, we have, we'd, we'd be happy to um, it, probably a question for mr. Lee um, but yes Hi, I'm Mark Lee with Paul Lee Engineering. Uh, the I can speak to the pond design. I didn't. I'm not a structural engineer, uh, but I do know that the structural design that I have seen so far is meant to bridge the entire existing structure that's there, so that we're not disturbing the wall that's in place currently. Uh, we're, we're, we don't want to change that because that's set in place. Uh, so I know that he's designed uh, uh, his footings to set outside that wall to place the new bridge in place, and that be our only really hard surface uh, getting into besides the home, because we're gonna be using uh, pervious pavers for the driveway, is what the city has come up with, that uh, will allow us to keep our impervious as low as possible and reduce the size of the mitigation pond that we needed uh, to, to make everything balance. Uh, the mitigation pond is gonna be an underground uh, infiltration system. Uh, in that we take the water in and it will soak in and be purified as it soaks through the soil. Uh, we had geotechnical reports done to verify the infiltration rates because uh, we didn't want to just make an assumption uh, based on some soil type out of a, a state map or something. <laughs> so anyway, uh, currently the infiltration rates uh, that are, are acceptable, we've kept them high enough above the water table so that we won't be getting any kind of stagnation system going on. So it's, uh, we've, we've worked it for the last few months to make sure we're, we're good and to make it really soak in and really mitigate uh, the water concerns. And what will it visually look like from a distance? You, you won't see it from a distance. It's all going to be underground. There'll be a slight depression in that area where we make sure the water goes into the drains that feed it. Uh, then the roof drains will all be piped underground to it, so you won't even see that coming off the house. It'll be directly piped into the underground storage area. And so um, it, it'll be just a yard that's okay. nice and manicured and whatever landscaping the owner would like to do. I see, because I, I just worried about children getting curious about this interesting, okay. Yeah, there, yeah. there won't be anything visual. We, we had some designs throughout that used some, some above ground walling and things, so we got rid of that. Okay. Uh, we, we wanted to also make it more aesthetically pleasing and give us that grass that uh, mm -hmm. keeps the buffer still intact even though it's all underground being mitigated for. Yeah, I'm looking at the site plan now, specifically with everything you just referenced. It's definitely the way to do it. And just for the record, it's not the cheapest way to do it either. So there's a lot of challenges with this lot. So I just I appreciate the property owner's efforts in um, in what they're gonna have to go through to to do it right. So appreciate that. Mr. Stobbs, did you read into record the conditions associated with this? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. And to the applicant, um, are you aware of and accept those conditions as stated? We are, yes, sir. We, we've gone over those again this morning with Mr. Corbett and prepared to uh, comply with those. Okay, thank you. Any other questions or comments for staff or the applicant? This is a public hearing. If there's anybody here that would like to speak either for or against item 2A, I would ask that you'd step forward at this time. Seeing no one, I'll entertain a motion. A motion variance request B21-069 reduce the side setback from 10 feet to 5 feet, lot 415-863 Church Street. Would that be a motion to approve? Yes. Okay. Got a motion to approve? Second. With a proper second. If there's no further discussion, I'll call for the vote. Motion to approve passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda 2B, same subject property. V21-070 to reduce the rear setback from 30 to 15 feet. 863 Church Street, Nathan Corbett is the applicant. Mr. Stobbs, do you have any additional information to add? Nothing additional. We recommend approval with the same conditions. Recommend approval with the same conditions. 
and to the applicant, do you have any additional information to add? Nothing further. We'll submit on for all three of these for the same Thank presentation. You. Thank you. Any questions for staff or the applicant? This is a public hearing. If there's anybody here would like to speak for or against item 2B, I would ask that you'd step forward at this time. Seeing no one, I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve variance request V21-070. Reduce the rear setback from 30 feet to 15 feet. Lot 415-863 Church Street, Nathan Corbett. Second that motion. We have a motion to approve 2B with a proper second. If there's no further discussion, I'll call for the vote. That motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is 2C, same sub subject property, V21-070, to allow encroachment into the 50-foot undisturbed buffer and 75-foot impervious surface setback for a new single-family home, 863 Church Street. Nathan Corbett is the applicant. Mr. Stobbs, any additional? Nothing additional. Same conditions, and we recommended approval. Okay, and to the applicant, no, nothing else. Questions or comments for staff or the applicant? This is a public hearing. If there's anybody here who'd like to speak either for or against item 2C, I'd ask that you step forward at this time. I've been practicing my auctioneer speech, so you go over some of these. <laughs> Seeing no one, I'll entertain a motion for 2C. Motion to approve variance request V21-071, allow encroachment into the 50-foot undisturbed stream buffer and 75-foot impervious surface setbacks for new single-family home, lot 415-863, Church Street, Nathan Corbett. Second. We have a motion to approve 2C two, two with a proper second. If there's no further, I'll call for the vote. That motion passes unanimously as well. Good luck, gentlemen. Next item on the agenda is 2D, various requests V21-107 to allow five-foot privacy fence in front yard on a corner lot, land lot 384.45 acres, 3861 North Cooper Lake Road. Kiana Baldwin as the applicant, Mr. Stobbs. Looks like we just have one with this property. The background, yes. please. Yes, sir. Variance request V21-107 at 3861 North Cooper Lake Road to allow a five-foot uh, fence in a front yard on a corner lot. Uh, this was a fence that was started and code enforcement um, saw it and, and referred it to staff to look at. Uh, we, we verified that it it's not compliant with the uh, section 503 of the ordinance, which requires a corner lot to have two front setbacks along the main roadside and then the, the side roadside. Um, however, we recognize that at times a, a four foot privacy fence, which would be allowed, is not enough for security and privacy on um, for, for an individual. So they've requested that one foot height reduction. It is an aluminum fence that um, it's, it's not opaque. You can see through it. Um, we're we are okay with the the request. We recommend approval with three conditions that um, it's in compliance with the, the site plan they submitted. Um, however, they will have to verify that it's not in the city right of way and then three, that they will work with the city engineer to verify that it's not it is not um, blocking any sight distance at the intersection. Um, uh, and I will give them the city engineer's contact information that they can work with them. Um, just so there's re retention of site visibility. Otherwise, we're okay with the request. Sure, and that portion that's in question for the site distance issue is currently exist or does not exist yet? That, that I'll, I'll ask the applicant about that, that's fine. Any questions for staff? Okay, um, is the applicant present? Okay, looks like we got. If you would please state your name for the I record. I live on North Cooper Lake, and I've seen the zoning variance, and I didn't know what it was about. Okay, so I've well, got up here, so hold and on they had seconds. already started on this, and they had stopped. So I, this was the reason. But I think the sir. fence will look great. Okay, it look just good. One second, one second, sir. It, I'll uh, call for public comment in just a minute. We've got mm -hmm. to hear from the applicant first, and then I'll call you. I'll, you can yeah. come up after that. Thank okay? you. Okay. Thank you, sir.
Good morning. Good morning. I'm Kenyatta Baldwin. I'm the resident at uh, 3861 North Cooper Lake Road. Okay. Um, so we initiated uh, having the fence installed on, but notes to the uh, height restrictions. And as Joey stated, uh, um, we were stopped. <laughs> and then um, we applied for the variance for to exception due to the uh, safety of family members. We have an emotional support uh, animal that's been hit by a car. Oh um, we've had had uh, drivers drive across our uh, front yard um, and for those purposes. And then we have random dogs as well that could cause harm to the family. So we're requesting uh, instead of four foot that, that it be five foot for safety purposes. So just for the sake of everybody here, we have a lot of corner lots in, in our city. And when you have a corner lot, you, you technically have two front yards, even right. though the house only faces one of the two streets. So we see these types of variance requests a lot, you know, to allow because the, the rules are different for the front yard versus, you know, the backyard. So, um, okay. You heard Mr. Stobbs kind of give an overview of the whole thing, you know, in essence. Um, do you have any additional information to add to what Mr. Stobbs said or what you've said? No, sir. Okay, and you also heard him read into record the conditions. Are you aware of those and in agreement with those? Yes, sir. Okay, any questions for the applicant? So part of the fence is up, but not all of it. Is that is that what's going on? Correct. We we okay. stopped uh, when we were notified. Okay. It was not so uh, so you're fine with working with the engineer to maintain Make sure those that sight lines it's within the setbacks that's required. Yes, okay. ma'am. Yeah, and the the sight distance. And the sight issues. distance. Yeah. Correct. It is it, a, a black aluminum fence. It's totally see through. Yeah. Um, I don't believe it will obstruct anything. Yeah. It shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other questions for the applicant? No questions. So this is a public hearing. If there's anybody here who'd like to speak for or against, I'd ask that you step forward. And uh, so we did have one one citizen come up, and he was all for it, from what I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you got a good neighbor. Uh, yeah. Looks that way. He I was ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> is there anybody else that'd like to speak either for or against item? Where are we at? Two E. Okay, seeing none, I'll entertain a motion for 2E. 2D. I'm 2D. sorry, 2D. 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 Uh, make a motion to approve variance request V21-107, allow five-foot privacy fence in front yard on a corner lot, land lot 384.45 acres, 3861 North Cooper Lake Road, Kiana Balden. Second that motion. With motion to approve with a proper second. If there's no further discussion, I'll call for the vote. That motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is, in fact, item 2E, variance request V21-108 to reduce the rear setback from 45 to 35 feet for the construction of an elevated deck, land lot 383.41 acres, 1522 Grace Meadows Lane Outback Deck incorporated as the applicant. And this has three different variance requests. So the first one is for the uh, rear setback reduction from 45 to 35. Mr. Stobbs, the background, please. Yes, sir. Uh, subject property is 1522 Grace Meadows Lane. They're requesting a reduction of the rear setback from 45 feet to 35 feet to allow encroachment into the 75 foot pervious surface setback and to allow encroachment into the city's 50 foot undisturbed buffer. Uh, this is a property that was, the subdivision was developed in 1993 and the home was constructed in 1997 prior to the adoption of our stream buffer ordinances. So we occasionally have issues that the houses were built prior to there being a stream buffer. So when they want to do something, they need variances from that. Um, Basically, they're going to uh, rebuild an existing deck, uh, enlarge it to be a 16 foot by 22 foot elevated deck. Um, we recommend approval with three conditions that it's built according to the site plan submitted to that they will um, provide 352 square feet to remain undisturbed for the buffer averaging mitigation shown on the site plan. And then three, the all deck footings shall remain outside of the city 50 foot undisturbed stream buffer. Okay, any questions for staff at this time? Um, 
for the um, the compensation with the property that will remain undisturbed, um, does that become uh, part of the the record such that if they sell the house, the next homeowner has to comply with that? Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Is the applicant present? Good morning. If you could please state your name for the record. Alejandro Barraza. Okay. So you just heard Mr. Stobbs um, kind of give an overview. Like I said, when I called the first one, this spawns three different variance requests um, for the proposed project. You heard Mr. Stobbs give a, an overview and then read into record the conditions. Do you have any additional information to add about the project or any questions about the conditions? Uh, no, nothing at this time. Okay. And you, you are accepting of the conditions as read? Yes. Okay. Any questions for the applicant? Question. Can you describe the um, existing deck for us? Yeah, so the existing deck is an elevated deck. It sits outside of what's currently the living room in my home. So as you step out, it's probably about 12 feet off of the ground. Um, the dimensions currently on it are probably about 16 by 10. So it's a very, very small deck. Um, the purpose of kind of rebuilding this is to expand it and make it a little bit bigger. Um, as Joey already mentioned, um, the current deck already encroaches on these various lines, as does the, just the dwelling itself. About a fourth of my house crosses that 75-foot uh, impervious setback line. Um, but that's kind of what the structure is today. And the one condition about, in reference to the 50-foot, with no footings in the 50-foot, and I'm, I'm looking at the site plan here, it looks like the southwest corner of the new deck, mm -hmm. you know, crosses by a couple of feet. So. I'm assuming you've looked at that. You're going to be able to get the footing outside of the 50 foot. That's correct. So what Outback Deck is going to do is they're going to make sure that none of the footings lie within that 50 foot undisturbed buffer. Um, they're going to have to reinforce the joists on the floor for that deck in order to kind of make it overhang from that post. Right. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is a public hearing. If there's anybody here that would like to speak either for or against item 2E, I'd ask that you step forward at this time. Seeing no one, I'll entertain a motion. Motion to approve variance request V21-108, reduce the rear setback from 45 feet to 35 feet for the construction of the elevated deck, land lot 8, or excuse me, 383.41 acres, 1522 Grace Meadow Lanes, Outback Deck and Company. Second. We have a motion approved with a proper second. If there's no further, I'll call for the vote. That motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is item 2F, same subject property B21-109, to allow encroachment into 75-foot impervious service setback for the construction of an elevated deck, 1522 Grace Meadows Lane, Outback Deck. Mr. Stobbs, any additional? Nothing additional. We recommend approval with the same conditions. Okay, and to the applicant, any additional information? No, none. As we've already stated, that even the, the existing dwelling is existing non-compliant. 75 foot goes, all, goes through the house already, right? So, Correct. Any questions for the applicant or staff? This is a public hearing. If there's anybody here that'd like to speak for or against item 2F, I'd ask that you'd step forward at this time. Seeing no one, I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve variance request V21-109, allow encroachment into the 75-foot impervious service setback for the construction of an elevated deck, land lot 383.41 acres, 1522 Grace Meadows Lane, Outback Deck, Inc. Second that motion. We have a motion to approve 2F with a proper second. If there's no further, I'll call for the vote. Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is 2G, same subject property, variance request V21-110 to allow encroachment into 50-foot undisturbed street buffer for construction of an elevated deck, 1522 Grace Meadows Lane. Mr. Stobbs, any additional? Nothing additional. We recommend approval with the same conditions. All right, and to the applicant, any? No, nothing to add. All right. <laughs> This is a public hearing. If there's anybody here would like to speak for or against item 2G, I'd ask that you step forward at this time. Seeing no one, I'll entertain a motion. 
Motion to approve variance request V21-110, allow encroachment into the 50-foot undisturbed stream buffer for the construction of an elevated deck, landlot 383.41 acres, 1522 Grace Meadows Lane, Outback Deck Incorporated. Second. I have a motion to approve with, pro <coughs> excuse me, with a proper second. If there's no further, I'll call for the vote. Motion passed unanimously. Good luck, sir. Thank you. All right, next item on the agenda is variance request V21-111 to allow new construction on a lot of record below minimum requirements. Landlot 313.41 acres, 341 Mockingbird Lane. Michael Yofi is the applicant, and this one has three as well. Mr. Stobbs, the background. Subject property is 341 Mockingbird Lane. They're requesting three variances uh, to allow new construction on a lot of record below minimum requirements, to allow an increase in pervious coverage from 35% to 36.5%, and to allow a second accessory structure. The existing lot is zoned R20 and is a uh, little above 17,000 square feet in area. Our ordinance requires any lot below minimum requirements to obtain a variance before uh, any house can be constructed on it. Uh, that's what they are doing here. Uh, additionally, they want to build a, a swimming pool and a gazebo structure in the backyard. That requires the second two variances to, to increase the impervious coverage and to allow a second accessory structure. Um, it's pretty common for people to have a pool and a second structure. Our ordinance considers them the same thing. So we've recommended approval with two conditions. That um, approval is conditioned upon the development and substantial compliance with the site plan and elevation submitted. And two, that they will provide a water quality plan subject to approval by the city engineer for the uh, increase in pervious coverage. Thank you. And you said this was an R20, right? Yes, sir. It's okay. Any questions for staff at this time? Is the applicant present? Good morning. If you would please state your name for the record. Michael Yofi. Good morning. Good morning. So just like several, you have the advantage of, of hearing everybody before you. This is similar <laughs> in that you have three, you know, one. So you guys want to want to build a house and a pool and, and have a, a a pool building according Correct. to the site plan. You heard Mr. Stobbs kind of read into record the, just the 60,000 foot overview. He touched on each of the three um, required uh, ordinance, or I'm sorry, variance requests. Do you have any additional information that you'd like to add to what Mr. Stobbs said? No, sir. Okay, are you familiar with and agree with the conditions as read into the record? Yes, sir. Okay, any questions for the applicant? Looks like it's going to be a um, a nice house. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, if there's no questions for staff or the applicant, this is a public hearing. If there's anybody here that'd like to speak either for or against item two H, I would ask that you'd step forward at this time. Seeing no one, I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve variance V twenty one dash one 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 allow new construction on a lot of record below minimum requirements. Land lot 313.41 acres, 341 Mockingbird Lane, Michael Yofi. Second that motion. The motion approved 2H with a proper second. If there's no further, I'll call for the vote. <clears throat> motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is 2I, V21-112. Same subject property. This one's to allow increase in impervious coverage from 35% to 36.5, land lot 313. Sir? Michael? <laughs> Thank you, we appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got too excited, man. We gotta hear all three of them. <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah. 
<laughs> Next item on the agenda is 2I, same subject property, V21-110, allow increase in impervious coverage from 35 to 36.5, 341 Mockingbird Lane. Mr. Stobbs, any additional information? Nothing additional. We recommend approval with the same conditions. And from the applicant, do you have any additional information to add? No, sir. Okay. Any questions for staff for the applicant? This is a public hearing. Does anybody here like to speak either for or against 2 I? I'd ask that you step forward at this time. Seeing no one, I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve variance request V21-112. Allow increase in pervious coverage from 35% to 36.5%. Land lot 313-0141 acres, 341 Mockingbird Lane, Michael Yofi. Second. We have a motion to approve 2I with a proper second. If there's no further, I'll call for the vote. Don't go anywhere. We got one more. <laughs> <laughs> that motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is um, item 2J, variance request V21-113. Allow a second accessory structure, land lot 313.41 acres, 341 Mockingbird Lane. Mr. Stobbs, any additional? Nothing additional. We recommend approval with the same conditions. And same question to you, sir. Nothing additional? No, sir. Okay. No questions for staff or the applicant. It says a public hearing. Does anybody here like to speak for or against item 2J? I'd ask that you step forward at this time. Seeing none, no one, I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve variance request V21-113. Allow a second accessory structure, land lot 313.41 acres, 341 Mockingbird Lane, Michael Yofi. I second that motion. Motion approved. 2J, yeah, that's right, um, with a proper second. If there's no further, I'll call for the vote. All right, motion passes unanimously. You may go, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck. Next item on the agenda is uh, item 2K, various requests V21-114, allow reduction of the street side setback from 23 to 13 feet, land lot 596.45 acres, 1533 Collier Drive, William and Bailey Ward. Mr. Stobbs, the background's the only one on this subject property. Yes, sir. This is a variance request at 1533 Collier Drive to reduce the street side setback from 23 feet to 13 feet. Um, it is cornered lot at the intersection of Collier Drive and Memory Lane. The existing house was built in 1953 and it's about 1,500 square feet. They're looking to expand the house um, and add a garage to the to the side on memory lane. And that requires a, a variance for the setback reduction from 23 to 13 feet. Um, okay. given, given that the, the house is the existing location of the house is where it is, this is really the only place to to enlarge the house and to build a garage over the existing driveway. So we recommend an approval with one condition that it um, is conditioned upon the development of the property in substantial compliance with the site plan and elevation submitted with the application. So just the one standard condition? Yes, sir. And it looks like just looking at the site plan, the, the lot size is more than sufficient to handle the increase in impervious surface without any type of barriers, right? That's correct. Okay. Any questions for the or staff at this time? The applicant present. Thanks for your help on that. Do you, oh, no do, you, worries. do you know yeah. Michael? Do, do, uh, my you know wife him? does. Yeah, okay. Bailey does. I, I have not. I just met him, but yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh. So um, same as everybody else, you just heard Mr. Sobs kind of uh, give an overview uh, of, of the, the project that you want to do. Is there any additional information that you'd like to add? Uh, no, no additional information. You heard him also read into the record the one condition that essentially says you have to build it the way that the site, the, the application says. Yes. And you're in agreement with that? I am. Okay. Looks like it's going to be quite the project out there. It's going to be nice. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Any questions for the applicant? Okay. This is a public hearing. If anybody here would like to speak either for or against item 2K, I'd ask that you'd step forward. Seeing no one, I'll entertain a motion. Motion to approve variance request V21-114, allow reduction of the street side setback from 23 feet to 13 feet. The land lot 596.45 acres, 1533 Collier Drive, William and Bailey Ward. Second. We have a motion to approve 2K with a proper second. If there's no further, I'll call for the vote. 
Motion passes unanimously. Good luck. Last item on the agenda is item 3A to approve the October 13, 2021 license variance board meeting minutes. Do I hear a motion to approve? Motion to approve the October 13, 2021 license and variance board meeting minutes. Second that motion. We have a motion to approve 3A with a proper second. If there's no further, I'll call for the vote. Motion passes unanimously. We're going to adjourn at 1035. Good job, everybody.